Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we hop into the world of Metroid. Metroid is one of those franchises that I literally remember the original NES game. It was one of those what the F do you do games, and I I remember playing it for hours as a kid. Never really got anywhere. I could get like the Morph Ball and like a couple other basic things, but I feel like with Metroid, I learned much later in life that literally there's a whole bunch of like uh, hidden invisible blocks and you just have to try and destroy everything to find those passageways. And those aren't secrets, those are essential. And so because they were essential, not secrets, I literally found a couple my whole life and that was it. So I could never beat Metroid, it was too obscure. It's sort of like Mylon's secret castle. Uh, I would argue, but to those who can beat it, I'm sure it doesn't seem that way. However, anyway, long story short, I knew Metroid for years as that. And then briefly, I knew it as Super Metroid. I never played it, but I know a lot of people did, and I remember the commercials. And then there have been more Metroid games since I knew Metroid than existed when I knew Metroid. You know what I mean? Like Metroid, the original and Super Metroid were like Metroid when I was a kid. That's what I remember. And then as like... You know, when I was in my 20s, you know, I'm off like, you know, partying, meeting people, working jobs, trying to start a career, all that fun stuff. All these Metroids happened. And I come back and there's like, we're up to like Metroid Prime 3 Corruption colon, you know, the Clone Wars. And I'm like, I don't know what happened. How did I miss all this Metroid? Also, the game is nothing like I remember, you know, it was obvious. I, I mean, so many Nintendo games started as platformers. And now, how many of them are still platformers? You know, some are, uh, but even games like Mario, you know, once the N64 came around, like, that was it for 2D Mario games. We didn't really... I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but after Mario 64, every Mario went 3D, and it was sort of seemed like Mario was done with being 2D. It didn't come back to being 2D until the new Super Mario Brothers on uh, Nintendo DS, I think it was. And they just kind of did that as a lark. It ended up being so successful that they've since brought back, you know, new Super Mario Brothers, then they made Mario Maker and stuff. But if that one game hadn't existed, I bet you Mario would still be 3D to this day. So it's interesting, you know, how many games started as platformers and, uh, you know, became whatever they are. I mean, look at Metroid. I mean, this is, this is definitely more like a sci-fi... I don't want to say horror. It's not really horror, but it, it, it's like certainly a little darker or a little more sinister than, uh, you know, when I was a kid. It'd be like if you took Super Ghouls and Ghosts and made it a little dark um, and also made it like a first person, like a doom shooter, which actually, as I say, it sounds kind of cool. Super Ghouls and Ghosts is a doom shooter. That could be interesting. I mean, that could be something. Somebody want to make that? Um, we got some computer code that's glitching out. Oh, blue screen to death. That's not good. It's like a fourth wall breaking moment. Good thing this didn't run on PC. People would actually think their computer had crashed. Okay, can we skip this? I'm sure, it's a lovely, interesting intro, but... No, it doesn't seem skippable. All right, something is sucking up all the energy. Oh, it's Metroid! Metroid was inside the whole time. I know it's Samus, but it's it's one of those things like uh, You know everyone when I was a kid I used to think uh, Link in the Legend of Zelda was Zelda, you know, because it was the Legend of Zelda and He was the main character. So I just thought it was about him. Uh, I quickly learned that was wrong, but I feel like Metroid when I first played Metroid, I thought that Samus was the Metroid, you know? Like, I didn't understand that, uh, she was not. Also, I mean, it's common knowledge now that Samus is female, but, uh, we all thought Samus was a dude when I was a kid. You know, it's easy to forget, but you didn't realize she was a woman unless you beat it on, like, the super hard mode, and then she stood in a bikini at the end to reveal herself, <laughs> which, now that I say it out loud, sounds like a very weird way. To have a hero, you know, they're trying to empower females. They're like, haha, we're gonna make this character a female, and the dudes won't ever know. It'll be a great moment for female empowerment. And it's like, sir, how should we have her reveal that she's a female at the end? Well, they're like, we'll have her take all her clothes off, of course, and just stand there in a bikini. That is the way of things. Um, 
I seriously don't know which one to press. Wait, so I'm looking for this. That doesn't... Oh, here it is. Now I'm looking for... This. And this. See, these are the moments on the Wii that feel contrived. Where it's like, they just kind of wanted to show off the fact that they could do this. It's sort of like Jurassic Park, you know? They were so concerned with whether they could do it, they never asked if they should. I feel like that could be my personal tagline for the Wii the Wii as a, as a console. So concerned whether they could do it, never concerned if they should. What do I click now? What do they want me to hit these? Beep. How about this thing? Blink. Now this thing. Pull the Wiimote. Push the Wiimote towards the screen. Okay, I'm doing it. There you go. That was annoying. You can tell I'm gonna love the motion controls in this baby. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, what's the best- oh, he Hear me out, guys. I know you're probably sick to death of my belly aching about motion controls. What's the best motion control game out there? There's gotta be one. What's- what's the best one? Lay it on me. Put- leave it down in the comments below. Maybe I'll check it out. Um... But I don't know. I don't know, I just... I hate to say it, I hate, to, I hate to be that guy, but the day that I'm done this 1001 quest and I never have to involuntarily play another Wii game, I'll probably be happy. <laughs> There's some games on the Wii that I quite like, but they tend to be the games that you can use a pro controller to play, you know, like, um, Super Mario Brothers, even Smash Brothers. I'm not a huge Smash Brother guy, but I really appreciate that you can just use it, a controller, you don't have to use, uh, you know, motion controls or whatever. Uh, but anyway, let's... Okay. Blink, 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 blink. Calibration complete. Calibration complete. These guys look like little master chiefs. Alright, the GFS Olympus. We gotta head all the way over there to question mark. Go to the briefing room. I accept this mission. Back to area map. There we go. I like how uh, Samus updated her logbook. I don't know if you saw it there. It, like flashed on the screen for a moment. She's like, I met two guys in the cargo bay. They told me to go to the briefing room. I decided to accept this challenge. Like, what kind of log is she writing, you know? On the flip side, I wish that I had a book that automatically updated with random logs from my life. That'd be kind of cool. Where am I trying to go here? Is there something in the way? It looks like there should be a door here. What am I not seeing? Can I interact with these things? Oh, I shot that guy in the back of the head. <laughs> okay, I guess that's how you talk to people. You j you jack them in the head. The pirate attacks have the old man nervous. Looks like he's getting ready for. Press and hold a charge shot, then release to fire. He told me that when I was aiming at one of these guys. So I guess I'm supposed to murder him. I feel like they're saying something, but I can't quite hear it. I'm not 100% sure. Could be shooting these things? Oh, that did it. There you go, I charged up your little conveyor belts, pal. He's like, oh, all we needed was a high-powered electron blaster. Keep that in my tool belt. Be like hiring a handyman, he shows up, he's got a tool belt, he's got like, pliers, a screwdriver, a hammer, and then like a loaded 9 millimeter. <laughs> and he's like, these are for the tough jobs. This is for plumbing. You don't want to plumb with an Uzi, you want that 9 millimeter for precision shots, man. Um, press and hold minus to bring up visor select, okay. I move the cursor into the top zone to release into the scan visor. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, hold on. And press Z to scan. Okay. Oh, I turned into a ball. Wrong Z. Alright, Z. 
Activating Security Control Lock Pad. Access code input required to unlock nearby door. Press A or minus to go back to the combat visor. Uh, there we go. Or A, I guess. Um, can you give me the code, bro? A pleasure to meet you, Samus. Press A to speak to people. I'd rather shoot them. You know what? I'm trying to, uh... Welcome aboard the to not really move the camera, but it's like... Every time, if you have an itch, the camera goes all over the place. One thing I like about playing shooters with a thumbstick is I can take my thumb off the stick and, I don't know, like, itch my nose, and the guy doesn't do this, you know, like, look all over the place. Um, but no such luck with the Wii U, or the Wii. Can't even rest the controller on, on your groin, because then he'll just, she'll stare up like this. Uh, there's just nothing to do with the Wiimo. You gotta hold the Aren't that baby. It's an honor to meet you. Um, I can't really hear what they're saying because I turned the volume too low. I guess I should turn it up a little bit. Hold on, let me fix this. Hey, look, what do you do with the Wii controller in this scenario? All right. Um, interact. I have no idea what the code should be. About five. I don't know. Okay, hold on. Did they tell me the code? Let's see. I've got duties to perform. We'll have to talk later. I've got duties to perform. We'll have to talk later. You sons of beaches. I don't know what the code is. Oh, what a load of nonsense. Make it obvious, man. Alright. Cheating time. As, uh... Internet meme woman once said, Ain't nobody got time for this shit. Metroid, what are we playing? Corruption 3. Uh, first level dork. I can't believe I'm looking up. I mean, I'm sure they mentioned it or something, but like... Give me a break. <laughs> I don't know. This irks me. Consider me irked. So I want one, three, five, seven, six. There you go. You happy? I don't know how you're supposed to get that in real, the actual game. I'm sure I just missed something obvious. Or it's in the, the manual. Sometimes they would do that. They would put stuff in the manual so like you had to own the game to play it. Oh, am I? Can I open the door, or...? Ugh, oh, with the goddamn motion controls. Pull the lever, twist it, put it in. I don't know, I guess- I guess that kind of stuff's interesting to some people. I never- I never found those kinds of motion controls all that, like, compelling, or like, ooh, a new level of immersion. Shoot these guys right in their, right in their Metroids. Samus Aaron. What the? I gotta press my own button to analyze my own bio mass. It's kind of a self-service. Uh. Security checkpoint. Alright, let me through. Come on. Anytime. You know, we played a Metroid game on Game Boy Advance. Oh, I gotta interact with this stupid thing again. Okay. Trying to do it. Okay, and then we rotate it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Ah, fucking motion control. They're the worst. Um, anyway, we played a Metroid on the Game Boy Advance, and I feel like that one was pretty good. There was absolutely no motion controls at all. B to jump. Alright, there. Just like that. Aren't you Samus Aaron? Shut it's up. An honor to meet you. Shut up. Guys, like, it's an honor to meet you, ma'am. Like, shut your pie hole. If I wanted to hear you talk, I'd shove my hand up your butt and work your mouth like a puppet. 
I've got anger issues, guys. Okay, what do, what do I do here? Some kind of like elevator. Do I shoot it? Oh god. Motion controls. Aim at the goddamn button. You useless. Stupid. <laughs> that doesn't do anything. I'm like legit f feeling like, I don't know, like are we gonna see this game or are we just gonna get stuck in the tutorial? This is kind of ridiculous. When did this game come out? No tutorial should be this obscure. This is like 1999 level, like, you know, you gotta solve a puzzle to finish the tutorial. In the year 2022, we want like a little line of dialogue at the bottom of every room telling us exactly what to do. Like seriously, what do I- what do I do? Is there something over here? Oh my god. I'm losing patience with this. Like legit. Okay. Interact with the hand scanner to activate and step in the hologram that appears. What hand scan? Look! Look! Forward! Dummy? Oh god, I think my remote was in the way of the stupid Wii sensor. Um... Okay, you know, I'm just gonna leave this room. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I missed something. Was I- did I just go the wrong way? You know, I don't even really know where I came from. A to speak with people, fat chance. Please scan lore. Okay. Nothing. This part's fine. Oh, is this a hand scanner? Nope. Nothing. Okay, run through the exit door. Oh, here we go! Oh yeah, this thing that if you don't notice... <laughs> yeah, what? Why, why... Don't bother putting the button for the elevator actually on the elevator or anything, or... Make it stand out in any way. Just make it glow like everything else in the background. Sure. All right. Whatever. Positive, positive mood, guys. Maintain a positive mood here. The bridge is cool. It's pretty cool, actually. You know. Get the idea that you're immersed in space. Not bad. Oh, here's a guy. He's a captain. He's like, don't you my console! Just doing what I'm supposed to. Don't kill me, man! Yeah, I have no idea where we're supposed to go here. What was that? Am I like exiting the ship through like a cargo bay or something? No, nothing. Press and hold A. Oh, I absorbed those things. I do like how you can charge your shop, but it also feels like a bit of a ripoff of Mega Man. Which, now that I think about it, Samus and Mega Man are very similar in concept. I know, by the way, so here's a question. Do you know where the word Metroid came from? It was invented by the guy who made Metroid, obviously. Um, but it comes from a combination of Metro, like the Metro, like the London tubes, uh, and Android. Uh, Metroid, or Metro and Android, you get Metroid. And, uh, pretty much the guy who created this franchise just said he thought it sounded cool. So, you know, that's kind of all there is. So there you go. It's an honor to meet you. Everyone just... Jumping for joy at meeting me. Where am I supposed to go is the question. Can I bring up... Uh, I don't know how to bring... I don't even know how to bring up my map. Let's try this. Try some buttons. Oh, there we go. Where am I trying to go to? The question. Oh, I'm trying to go to that green room. Okay. You know what? Actually, that does help. I can get out of this. There we go. I'm trying to go... Over... Oh, Jesus. 
Uh, come on. I'm like trying to go over. No, wait, not here. I think I'm trying to go up and around and over. Or this way. Oh, yeah, behind this guy. Admiral Dan has ordered me to remind you that suit maintenance and data backup should be done before the meeting. There's a recharge station at the other side of the walkway. What? Before we meet, I have to go have a shower? The other side of the walkway. <laughs> We're rapidly approaching a point where, like, this is it, guys. I kind of feel like I gave this game a chance. Oh, look at that. I had to blow up the uh, cargo container to even get to the ship maintenance. I mean, I guess they're trying to teach you mechanics, but... Could you at least move your scattered, useless boxes? You want me to use an energy station, don't like cover it in stupid boxes. Let's, no, let's go kill that guy who told me to go have a shower. Boom. You're good to go. Alright, let me through, punk. I've killed Metroid older than you, kid. Don't think I won't do it. Alright, finally, jeez. I have to say, I'm not a fan of that tutorial mission. It seemed needlessly obtuse. Despite the fact they were kind of giving you directions, it was like, just... There were like weird decisions there to like, make things not obvious. Oh, what the heck? I was confused for a second. I was like, why are there two Samuses? One is a shapeshifter. Flagship's Aurora unit. Alright. There's some Metroids and we gotta get them. There's also a robot with a brain. Not creepy. That seems inefficient, but necessary. You see, seven days ago, we discovered that all Roar units were infected with an unknown virus. We were forced to bring the network down. Fortunately, our scientists were quickly able to devise a vaccine. Unit 242 was the first AU to receive the vaccine. We were able to completely purge the virus. Where did this virus come from? We believe the virus is of space pirate origin. Four months ago, the GFS Valhalla went missing while on a training mission in the Klar Nebula. The ship's logs revealed that they were attacked by a space pirate raiding vessel. What is the logic in disrupting a Federation training mission? They're pirates. How could they resist a prize like that? That never would have happened. Then it's a shame you weren't. The pirates boarded the Valhalla and gained access to the ship's Aurora unit, 313. This is how they were able to hack into the network and plant the virus. Thanks to our security protocols, we were able to shut down the network before the damage to the virus became irreversible. But we're still vulnerable. If the pirates decide to launch a major offensive, We'd be hard-pressed to defend ourselves. We must rid the other AUs of that virus and bring the network back online. That's where you come in. We need you to deliver the vaccine to each of the AUs in this system. We'd also like you to investigate the pirates' activity in the area. We need to know what they're up to. Condition red. All personnel to combat ready stations. Repeat. Condition red. Sir, a space pirate attack fleet has just warped out of some sort of wormhole. They're also heading for Sector Zero, the planet's home base. Damn! They're targeting the planetary defense system. Get down to the planet and aid the ground troops. Stop those pirates from disabling the defense system. Go!
Oh, we get to play again. Sorry, there was a long, uninterrupted cutscene, so I sort of zoned out there and was doing other things on my phone. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys, I feel like we've hit a point where I can... feel like I can be honest with you guys. Space pirates are attacking us. Finally, we might get a bit of action. What's that movie where they're like, what I wouldn't give for some action around here? And like, picture the trailer. Samus. Oh good, more cutscenes. Until we get the fleet in formation. I wish these were skippable somehow. I can bring up the map in the middle of the cutscene in case you want it to last longer. Oh there we go. She's <laughs> looking around. You know what? It the the visual controls on this, oh god, they're they're so bad. Um I've, I've talked about this before. I think maybe my uh Wii sensor bar is just too close to my screen. But, uh, so the controls aren't inherently bad, they're just bad for me right now, but I just feel like, I feel like one of those, you know, old people trying to play a, uh, a first-person shooter with, like, a mouse or whatever, and they're, like, uh, they're, they're pretty much just, like, looking at the sky and the floor and stuff, like, they're not orienting themselves properly. That's what I'm sort of doing right now. Press Z to, no, it turns into a ball again. Z to lock on. Is there anyone to lock on to? Boom. Okay, so locking on doesn't. I thought it would aim my gun, but it does not. Um, these are space pirates, eh? They're like weird organic guys. All right, I'll get them. Those things bad? Boink. Boink. So here's my question, like, how does this compare to something like Halo? Halo's kind of like my go-to reference for, uh, first-person shooters on consoles. And I feel like this game and Halo are probably about the same era. I'm trying to think, I guess this is about the same. It's no better, no worse, necessarily. Well, I mean, it might be a little more advanced in terms of cutscenes and stuff. I mean, I'm talking about, like, Halo 2 and 3, not the first Halo, but... I'm curious if the... So here's the true test of whether the gun mechanics are better or worse on a game, is, like, how complex did they make the enemies for dodging? If the enemies are really basic and they just walk up and stand there, it means the aiming controls suck. Because you can't really aim accurately. The more wiggly, and the more the enemies run around, the more it is like you actually have the capacity to deal with enemies that are trying to dodge, so, uh, you know, the controls are more precise. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't, I guess it doesn't feel all that dissimilar from Halo, but maybe it feels a little simpler. I don't know if I'm misremembering, though. Definitely don't know how to look in the direction I want to look, though. It's a problem. Um, maybe we should shoot that guy. Or that guy. Jeez, I cannot hit anything. It's awful. Boom. Oh, I just, like, shot the ceiling. Oh my god, the, <laughs> the aiming is so awful. Oh, save me. I literally can't hit this guy. <laughs> oh my god, and he keeps jumping away. What the F are you supposed to do this? I mean, it's just because I suck at aiming, but... It's really annoying to make him run away. Oh god. Get over here, bastard. There we go. Oh, he's still alive! We got him. So I have to run up point blank and shoot him with a charge shot right in his face. Oh, that, this guy took the thing. Oh my god, I can't hit anything! This is just embarrassing to watch. I feel sorry for you guys. Um... 
know what's funny is I feel like we played another Metroid. Oh, you know, I think we played on GameCube. I was gonna say, I remember playing another Metroid and it wasn't this awful. Like another 3D one. I think we played it on GameCube. Like, I literally can't hit shit. It's awful. I don't think we're gonna pass this level. I'll give it a couple more minutes, but then I think we literally might just tap out. Might just be like, you know what? We shooters, they ain't for me. Like, reveal yourself. Oh, come on. Let's get this guy. Where is he? Oh, come on! Oh, we finally got him. Literally, I was a second away from tapping out. Energy cell acquired. Return cell to its socket to restore power to the room. Okay. Might that be the socket of which you speak? I gotta find that. Is that over here? Press A. Are you effing kidding? Push the Wii mode in to push it in. How about you just push it in and turn it clockwise? Any other game, you'd press the A button and your character would just insert it. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, I know what to say. I just I feel bad continually. Belly aching. Oh my god, the Metroids. It's a million little... Oh my god, do I have, actually have to shoot these things? There's no way I'm gonna hit them. Or maybe I will. I think this is supposed to be an intense fight. I wonder if I could play this with the, uh... With the Pro Controller. Hold on. Actually, no, I... I'm pretty sure it said you needed a nunchuck to play this. Let's turn into a ball and get the hell out of here. Well, they can't get me now. It's morphin' time. It's morbin' time. This part is kind of cool, actually. Energy tank acquired. Honestly, I feel like the, this little ball puzzle part is more interesting. I kind of like how the fi they have the fixed camera angle and stuff. Um, and how you can, like, jump and, like, yeah, I don't know. The ball part actually is the most intriguing part of the game so far, I have to say. Never understood how Samus turns into a ball. I guess she's very flexible. She's like that girl in yoga that puts us all, puts us all to shame, you know? Um, what do we got here? Something else. Some other puzzle. Some other mysterious, magical puzzle. Alright. Well, I'm sorry to say, but I feel like this- it's- it's like somebody who's come over to your house and overstayed their welcome. I don't think I'm going further in this game. I don't think I'm going further. Uh, the motion controls are not for me. I just cannot deal with them. And I'm just, it's, I don't know, not for me. I would so much rather play this with dual thumbsticks. Dual thumbsticks, man, I don't know. The Wii, I think it's an interesting experiment of, of a console. I think to some people, the motion controls are awesome, they like it. Power to them. Power to you peeps. But I think it's, I think it's like literally an acquired taste. It's like sushi. Some people love it, for other people, not in a million years. And... You know, I, I want it to be proven wrong. I think, you know, we're not done with the Wii by any stretch of the imagination. But I had friends who owned a Wii and they would always tell me how great it was and stuff. And I always went over to their house and I was never super impressed. And I always just thought, maybe it's because I don't own it. Maybe I haven't played enough Wii games. But I have to say that, you know, nine years into the Thousand and One Quest, my opinion of the Wii hasn't really changed. Which basically is enough to say that... You know, there's a reason that the Wii motion controls don't really exist anymore. You know, they were a fun idea. A fun, interesting little idea. 
And then when Nintendo made a subsequent console, they said, but back to the real controls, you know, like, yeah, I know the Switch technically, or can it even? I don't even know. I don't even know if you can use these kinds of motion controls on the Switch, but all I know is this was an interesting experiment and uh, the world has moved on. So I don't know. Play Metroid Corruption 3 if you want to. If you're not an incompetent like myself at the motion controls, for me, I think I can only handle so much of this kind of stuff and then it's just like tedious. And uh, I mean, other things with the game is like I didn't find the tutorial super obvious. So I was like getting turned around and stuff and getting stuck. I had to look up two separate things. Probably me not paying attention, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. And uh, I find shooting with this is just unworkable for me. I'm just not interested or capable in doing it. So I don't know. Guys, feel free to judge me in the comments down below. Let me know how wrong I am about the Wiimote and how awesome motion controls are. I hope that uh, even if we disagree, we can still be friends. That'd be nice. Feel free to uh, let me know that too down in the comments. Guys, I hope at the very least, maybe for some reason, somehow, I brought you a smile or a smirk. If you did enjoy laughing at my pathetic attempts to play this game, don't forget to like the video and all the stuff. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Until next time, my friends, you take care of yourselves. In peace.